Hey everybody, it's Jeff with Jeff's Jet Boat, and today we're going to be revisiting this uh, Crypt Dual Surfboard Rack, and we're going to be adding a uh, set screw to this clamp here to keep this thing from twisting. Uh, what is happening is I am using my slingshot wake foil, and it is just so much weight that this thing is starting to finally twist a little bit on this rubber mount. So as you can see here, what's happening is this thing is getting ugh, pulled out like that and it's no good. So what we need to do today is we're gonna drill a hole here. We're gonna put a set screw in and lock this thing down to keep it from twisting. So here we go. Hey buddy. <clears throat> so this is, that, this is the Crypt dual surfboard wakeboard rack. And how it's set up is you got, comes with a couple of pieces. And I did a review on this thing. And I'll, I'll tell you, I really like this. Um, but we're gonna make a modification. So, obviously this is the part that clamps around the tower. And then you have these rubber bushings to take up different size bushings for different size tower. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drilling a hole through here and we're going to be installing a set screw and that way we can run this through and it will pinch against the tower and keep this thing from wanting to twist. So if you're not putting a freaking huge massive foil on it, you might not even need to do this, but it helps, especially in bumpy water. So to do this, number one, you need a set screw. Nice thing is um, we have we have Menards in our area. Menards has an entire assortment of stainless screw, um, stainless steel um, set screws. So Bimini Top Hardware, if you lose it, they have it now. Uh, this is an M8 by 1.25 thread, and this is also uh, this is the longest one they have. I believe this is also uh, I'm going to say 12 millimeter. Yes, this is an M8 um, by 1.25 pitch, 12 millimeters in length, okay? So, to do this, we're gonna need a couple things, and there's not much. Number one, you're gonna need the set screw. Booyah. Number two, you're gonna need an M8 by 1.25 tap. This is what's gonna cut the threads. And you're gonna need, yeah, two drill bits will work just fine, and a drill something to run the tap in by hand. Um, to drill an M8 hole, you typically want to use an M7 drill bit. But since this is the United States, we don't have metric drill bits typically readily available. Uh, 17, 17 by 64, a 17 64 drill bit is perfect, is what you need. I recommend just going down to something smaller. Just pick something to start it and then finish it off with this. So that's what we're gonna do. So the first thing is we're gonna chuck this into the vise, drill it, tap it, bada bing, bada boom. One last thing, you're gonna want a blow gun. The reason you want a blow gun, this is all built aluminum. You're gonna wanna blow all the shavings out, okay? So, step one, drill a hole. And yes, this stuff goes everywhere. Number two, your 1764 drill bit. Blow it out again. Now, not only if you don't want to use a set screw, you could use a bolt too. You could thread this and just use a bolt to snug up against it. I'm just using a set screw. So that was pretty easy, all right? Now we're gonna get the tap. I would also use something like PB Blast and just give everything a quick coat. There you go. 
Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Now once you get it started a little bit, I'm gonna blow this out. You wanna blow down these little channels called the flute. Because this is aluminum or aluminum, this stuff will eat at the threads. So once you get started, do just a little bit and then pull it out and clean all that off. And then we'll try to get this started by hand again. And there you go. So now we're gonna back it out and before we do that, we're going to spray off the end um, inside of here. We're going to spray all those shavings off. And now we're just going to run this out by hand. And that's it. So since this is aluminum, you can probably buy a cheapo tap. Now, that is a Mac Tools tap kit and it costs a lot of money. So I get it, but you can probably get away with the cheap Harbor Freight tap um, just because it's really easy to cut through, which is also why you have to be very careful. Now we'll take our bit Voila. All right, there we go. Okay, we got everything cleaned up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little rubber isolator and a little sharp little Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just going to, without stabbing my fingers, I'm gonna mark a hole. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I'm going to drill this little tiny hole in there and um, that way it can pass through. Bada bing, bada boom. So now I got my hole, I got this. I'm gonna take my set screw. I'm going to run it in to where it is protruding. And I'm going to line that up on the isolator like so. And there we go. And now I'm gonna clamp all this back together and uh, show you it on the boat. Okay, um, and before we mount this on the boat, this was a set screw I got. Um, I just don't think this is gonna be long enough. So I have a whole bunch of M8 um, by 1.25 bolts. It's the same, it's the same um, size, same thread. This one is just obviously longer. Um, what I'm gonna need is, I'm gonna need a set screw that is just a little bit longer. Probably this is 20 millimeters. That's probably what I'm gonna need or 15, just because when I ran this thing all the way in and tested it, it's almost on the very end of it. So I would say a, a uh, 12 millimeter length is not gonna be long enough. You probably wanna do at least 15 or even 20 to account for that rubber, um, that rubber bushing that's in there. So I'm just gonna put it up with this. Um, a little bit sticks out. Um, I'll have to go get a different bolt, but that's it. Also, I will be using some thread locker on this as well. This is red. This is semi. This is what they call permanent. Um, it won't be permanent. I'll be able to break it free. I just feel like because of drilling it, um, because I drilled it and tapped it, there's a little bit of play, and this I think will take up the slack and just keep it all locked in. 
So um, that's it. All right, as you can see, I got it mounted up. Um, I got that bolt and so the the uh, the set screw, and it is solid. I mean, this thing is. I tried. Yeah, I tried turning it, and it is set. Um, one thing to note. With this going in, it's gonna leave probably a little mark on your tower. So just be aware of that. I, I don't care. I mean, I've got marks on this from the um, from clamps and everything else. So a little notch right there is not gonna hurt it or bother me one bit. So that is definitely solid and is not going anywhere. So yay, hey, hey. Booyah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe. Almost at a thousand subscribers. Really appreciate it, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.